Celebrations on the banks of the Moscow River as Sergei Sobyanin's supporters received news of his victory in the race for mayor. Backed by the Kremlin, he pulled in just over 50% of votes, winning the election in the first round. We support Sergei Sobyanin because after he came to power, lots of things changed here in Moscow. Road constructions began, many kindergartens are being opened. We're happy about it. But the opposition candidate, Alexei Navalny, swept up far more votes than expected. Opinion polls had predicted he'd just get 10% of the ballots cast. Instead, he pulled in nearly 30%, a stunning result for the young opposition leader and one that will shock President Putin. Deprived of access to state-controlled TV, he energized his supporters in a series of non-stop rallies across the city using social media and a small army of volunteers to reach his mostly young middle-class followers. At the close of voting, he disputed the results. He accused his opponent of fraud and vote-rigging and threatened mass protests. We will address citizens, calling them to come out to the streets if Moscow City office continue to violate the election rights of Muscovites in this insolent way. But Moscow's Electoral Commission said there'd been no serious violations in the poll and a second runoff ballot would not take place. Navalny may have lost the election, but he'll be delighted with the results. His vote was far in excess of even the most optimistic predictions. An endorsement not just of his campaign, but a sign of growing dissatisfaction with Vladimir Putin's administration. The Kremlin will be worried. Peter Sharp, Al Jazeera in Moscow.